Hello everyone, um, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing great. Today we're in like the uh, business district of Osaka. It's about one stop away from Umeda. This is right near Yodo Yobashi Station. And I thought, well not I thought, but my girlfriend has to go to the dentist. So I accompanied her, accompanied her to the dentist office and I found a few buildings that I want to get into. There was a building right next to the station um, and then I wanted to check out City Hall because last time I was here, um, we did go near City Hall, but the problem was that um, everything was closed then. And right now, the um, lockdown is officially over, so we wanted to go around and check out um, what's open and um, just to see how things have changed. But the thing is, I've just dropped off my girlfriend and I saw this crazy looking building with this uh, staircase and I wanted to get like a, a view up top and I noticed that the uh, door was open so I'm gonna go in there and check it out but I really like this area it's pretty cool it's probably really expensive to live here and I've never even really checked this place out so we're gonna go up here first I left the door open See if I can take some nice pictures and uh, see what it looks like on top. <sighs> Alright, so it looks like it's locked up here. I believe this is the eighth floor. And uh, yeah, you get a pretty good view of things here. I mean, it's like eight floors, but it's really unobstructed, so it's kind of scary and exciting at the same time, I guess. So you do kind of get a 360 view of the, this whole little area here. Alright, let's go back down. Yeah, so in this area, you'll see a lot of businessmen, salarymen, taking a smoke break, um, taking a break or making phone calls and stuff like that. There's a lot of businesses and corporations around here. Check out this uh, burger place. It's called Don't Worry Egg Witch. Oh, it's like an egg sandwich kind of deal. It doesn't really look that great, but this sandwich or burger is only 200 yen. Some fries as well. Alright, so uh, yeah, I took some pictures. Um, if you're interested in looking at some of these pictures, I left it on my Patreon. My Patreon is only like $2 a month and it's not that expensive. And I try to get um, some extra videos every week on there. So yeah, if you want to check it out, it's in the description. Gotta be careful, this street is kind of crazy. So in the middle of all these like corporations, look at this uh, cool building. It might be even a temple. Got this uh, fancy cafe here. Chiao Preso. Maybe it's Italian. Got uh, people drinking coffee in the front. Got nice cars driving by Maserati here. Yeah, I've seen a, a few nice cars driving by down here. Alright, so I also noticed that a lot of these companies have like these bridges that connect to the to the offices, to the other, not offices, but to the other buildings, like that one right there. There's like a little skywalk. Um, that one right there. And then this one right here too. They're like three buildings connected into one. And they're like um, pretty old looking uh, colonial style buildings. It's made out of big bricks. It's probably been here for a long time and you know renovated when the um, you know newly new companies come in. That's the building that I've been wanting to go to. Um, we just came out of there too. I w actually, it's connected. Oh, it might be really windy. Let me get somewhere where it's not. So you can go to the train station here. This is the uh, Yodo Yobashi Station, and the building is also connected to the station. So you can just come right from below. That's how we came here, um, but I had to drop off my girlfriend so. Um, you can. This place is called Yodo Yobashi Odena. I think I, I'm pronouncing it wrong though. I'm thinking Umeda is either this way or the other way. But um, here's the building. There's a big bookstore here. 
There's a bunch of restaurants. Yeah, let's look at the uh, directory. Yeah, so, oh, sorry, I think I pronounced right. Maybe it's Odona? Odona. So they have food. I went to the basement floor. There's not much in the basement floor. Um, it's connected to the uh, station. And then we'll check out the first floor. It looks like they have a bunch of stuff here. And then the second floor has, has some like really nice restaurants. And I think the, the floors above them are just all office buildings. Looks like there is a Porsche being modeled out here. Here's a tapas bar, looks really nice. It's called Good Spoon. I don't think it's open. They got everything, they got pizza, they got waffles. I mean, $10 for a margarita pizza? I think they're open. All right, I think it is a Porsche. It's the, uh, it's an electric Porsche. It's really nice. Wow, that's so clean. I think this is the uh, Taycan. Taycan. It smells really good too. Let's check out the uh, exterior. It's like 20 inch rims. I'm guessing the, the front is also empty because the battery is probably beneath the seats. Look at the moonroof, wow. All right, here's the driver's side. It's pretty um, pretty clean inside, it's really empty. They make it really simple. I'm guessing that's a touch screen inside right there. And then the touch screen's down there as well. And then they got leather, leather uh, side panels. It's, yeah, it's the other side panels. All right, we're gonna go into this building. It smells kind of old. All right, seems like there's some shops for the ladies. And it looks like a lot of people just going to and from their office buildings, maybe. All right, this is the first floor. If there isn't enough things to see around here, I think what we'll do is um, go add the city hall video to this. Yeah, this. So there it seems like there's stores on the outside of, of these buildings, which are not, well, I guess they are connected to the inside. Well, like this one's not connected to the inside. Yeah, it just seems like a lot of clothes on the outside, maybe for people that work in the office, there's a parking garage. I remember seeing a grocery store here. So we'll go check that out as well. I need to use a toilet too. So yes, yeah, you see all these people going to and from work, taking a break. Okay, there's another restaurant here. Looks like a bakery. A really fancy uh, upscale pastry shop. La Patisserie Jail. I'm definitely killing the name here. And here's another restaurant. Pretty cool. I think this is. Uh, they got some craft beer. They got different sorts of um, beer there. The. Um, the tapas restaurant looks really nice too so i'm guessing that's where they do like some meetings and stuff like that if you're if you uh work in this office i feel like this building's been here for a while too so this g-wagon not an amg though and then they have like this uh custom suit where they're just staring at me custom suit um store Probably for the people that work here. It's probably just convenient for them to just come downstairs. And this is the other side of the building. And the grocery store is right here. So we'll just go in there real quick. All right, this place is called Mercado Piccolo. Let's see. Oh, it's pretty custom inside. Some 
music playing. It's like they got a lot of specialty stuff, a lot of expensive, like ghee. It's kind of like a foreign shop put into, um, put together like with the Japanese store. It's just tiny little watermelons for five bucks. Of course, they got a bunch of wine in here. I'm guessing maybe they bring it upstairs or probably take it home. They could possibly even live around here too. Right, let's get out of here. Got some bread. Right, they got like a bookstore here. Probably a really small one with magazines and stuff like that. I was hoping that they have. I was hoping that they have some sort of like um, observatory deck up on the top. Maybe I can look for it. I think these restaurants probably close open at um, in the evening. That looks delicious. This place looks really fancy. We got another restaurant. They got frogras. Probably saying that wrong. This is real fancy. Right, they got a toilet here. All right, so I just followed somebody in. It's, I thought you needed like a special car to get into the elevator, so I just followed this. Man. Look at how quiet this is. I think they're moving it out of here. Thing is silent anyways um yeah i went there was like this like blocked off area and i thought you needed a special key but i went in anyways and i was looking for like a special observatory deck because i saw that on google on uh, some pictures but it was just a bunch of office buildings it looks like there were a bunch of um, big corporations like a steel company deloitte was in here um and it just looks like an old building pretty much but uh i might cut a lot of it out of i might edit a lot of the stuff out of here and then um yeah i'm gonna go on to the city hall and hopefully there is uh, more interesting stuff over there check out some of this graffiti out here all right we're at the river here i think that's city hall I remember one of the subscribers saying that uh, there's some sort of an observatory deck at City Hall. I may be going to the wrong place, but um, that's why I wanted to come back and check. It's really lively out here. I don't know what that building is over there. What's this? Some magazines. Here. Yeah, this that building over there looks really interesting. All right, so I think this is the city hall. The public hall is closed. It doesn't look like there's an observatory deck here. I forgot who. I forgot who um, told me about it. I mean, this this building doesn't even look that tall to have an observatory deck. We got a pharmaceutical company, Lily. Is that Lily? I think that's in Indiana, right next to my hometown back home. Alright, it's a little windy, but here it is. They close in 20 minutes, so hopefully they have something interesting inside, or else I have to scrap this whole video. So there's nothing really interesting going on. Alright, so uh, I'm sweating like a pig, but um, yeah, so there it was no observatory deck. There are just a bunch of uh, office offices and um, I don't know, maybe maybe I read it wrong in the in one of the comments, but I, I heard because I came here like a month ago um, and somebody said that there was an observatory deck in one of these city halls, but I just googled it and um, I believe it's a different city hall in Sakai um, in South Osaka, so I'm probably gonna just gonna cut 
a lot of this video because there was a lot of not interesting stuff going on but I still gotta wait for my girlfriend so um, I'm gonna try to see if there's anything interesting here but it seems like there isn't because it's just a bunch of offices and buildings for companies but this area is really nice yeah I went over there last time um, maybe a month ago and I made a video about that and there's like a rose park there rose garden but there aren't that many roses but I'm gonna look at my phone and see if there's anything anything going on so I saw some of these signs on out right here nice I, I noticed that this one is um I, I i'm not really understanding it but i think they want to emulate the same things in different places to have a closer connection and this one is some sort of street in melbourne swanston swanston street but also too i found this as well this is my city chicago illinois right here so i think you know we have a street called Mag magnificent mile that has a bunch of luxury stores and stuff like that but they want to emulate the because every every year during the summer they have all these tulips growing in the in downtown um, of the city and I guess here too they have like sort of the same deal and I think that's why sometimes when I come down here um, it really reminds me of my own city so it's really interesting like they have some flowers on on these streets so I guess they want to emulate the same thing to have a closer connection or I'm just misreading it yep there's some flowers, but no tulips. All right, so I, um, I met up with my girlfriend and we decided to go to Umeda, which is a station away. Um, but it looks like it's busy and back to normal. When the uh, lockdown happened, this place was deserted and today is a Thursday. So for a Thursday, I mean, this is pretty normal, but when they had the lockdown, it was pretty empty here. It was like deserted. So it looks like life is back to normal. But now we got to find something interesting to do. I'm kind of spent going to those buildings and disappointed because there's nothing there. Alright, so I guess we're just going to do some shopping and um, there's some uh, sales around here. So we're going to stop at the H&M. But my girlfriend was also saying how, how, um, how busy this place is. So we just stopped by this bookstore that has many, many magazines and uh, books. And it looks like it's, it has a lot of people here. That's the bookstore. The bookstore was actually so crowded. My girlfriend wanted to look at some magazines, so um, I told her I would just wait outside, but this seems like this whole place is really crowded and I feel like for some reason that Japanese people are relieved that the lockdown is finished. I'm not sure, I haven't asked anybody but I just have this feeling because that's how I feel. I feel like finally, finally this lockdown is over after a month and I feel a little bit free to go to places and go around even though not like everyone's vaccinated or anything like that but just at the same time they've kind of eased on um, letting everybody um, move around so it's like it's so busy right now all right we're going on the bridge over here yeah even during the lockdown it looked like there was less people here but right now it looks like there's a lot of people here and just check it out real quick this place is always busy oh they got some uh, fruit out here nothing too crazy just your regular fresh fruit here watermelon cherries blueberries got some drinks as well got some acai got all sorts of cakes and pies in here 
and it's 20% off because it's almost 7 o'clock. So this is like the snack aisle. They got a lot of foreign goods here. They got um, Australian Tam Tam, Tim Tam, Percy's, um, Lint, yeah, um, Godiva, and um, some other ones as well. So there's a lot of um, foreign snacks and chips and chocolate, but um, they're a little bit expensive though. Oh, Lindor? They also have like a large beer selection here. It's, um, yeah, they, they have a lot of craft beer here. They have like a Waji beer, which is like an island near Osaka. Yeah, they've been getting really popular in um, Japan lately with craft beer and customizing, customizes, customize, customizing um, local breweries. Um, it's not like craft beers from around the world anymore. They're starting to home brew them in Osaka as well, like this one, Osaka Blue. Bay Blues and then they have some other um, beers as well they got Whole Garden and Duvel yeah they got all types of um, foreign beers as well so they got a lot of good stuff here good beer selection got some uh, here's a meat selection here and they have um, a lot of high quality meat here just because the store is so small and it's it's in a huge station they're gonna have a lot of high quality stuff here they even have like sashimi you can just get like three pieces of tuna for four dollars or five pieces of uh, salmon for four dollars and then they have all uh, individual sashimi here which you can just pick and choose from Alright guys, um, yeah I thought today I was gonna, it was gonna be more of an uh, eventful, eventful day but um, yeah I got, I, I got what I could and um, I hope uh, it was interesting enough for you guys and I just want to show you guys what it looks like um, after the lockdown. The lockdown has been finished for a couple of days now so I just want to show you guys what it looks like and it seems like everything's back to normal again and there's no vaccine. I think right now, currently, there's only like 18% that has the first shot and only 8% that has the, um, the second shot. So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to head home now. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And thank you for watching. And see you later. Goodbye.